Why do robots have summer holidays? To recharge their batteries. Ha uh ha. -huh. Uh, they come out, they, they sanitize and clean thoroughly the uh, robot, they load the robot, and off on its way it goes. Pretty simple. At this point, what you're seeing is the robot being loaded. You'll notice that we sanitized it first. Um, obviously, during COVID, that's extremely important. And what's going to happen next is that he's going to lock the robot. You can kind of hear it there. And now, the robot knows where it's going. The person who loaded it doesn't because they didn't need to. And now off it goes. For the last couple weeks, my excitement really grew as these robots have been kind of tooling around Modesto, learning the streets, learning the routes to do these deliveries. And I've been getting pictures sent to me from people that don't reach out to me very often going, is this really delivering groceries from your store? It's kind of been the best... Uh, publicity I could have ever asked for because people are so excited about this and we're getting so much feedback from customers excited to see this in action that it's really been something that I think is brought people together in a really exciting way around it. And you have to admit, they are the cutest little robots you've ever seen, right? So the Starship Technologies Sidewalk delivery devices, or personal delivery devices, are largely autonomous robots. The technology they use is very similar to that which is being pursued by self-driving cars. So the robots have a suite of sensors ranging from radars, ultrasonics, stereo cameras, time of flights, you name it. And all of these are creating a bubble of awareness around the robot. They're detecting vehicles that are coming fast moving down the road and they're feeding that into a very sophisticated um, brain for lack of a better word that has been trained over the years driving almost a million miles around the world thank you have a nice day